Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Runs the coal up here, and then it drops it onto what's called a boiling table in there, and there's steam jets to push that coal all over the firebox. Mm -hmm. You couldn't keep up with this shovel and buy it in the big old motor. Well, now it's how much coal you burn since running it at Strasburg. Not that much, I couldn't tell you how many. <laughs> a few tons. Okay. Uh, over here, throttle, mm -hmm. the power reverse. Lever right here is for the injector, one of the two ways to put water in a boiler. Bell sanders for giving the extra traction. This is the train brake for the train only, and this is the engine brake. Mm -hmm. Cylinder cock sets to see when you see him coming out to get the water out of everything. Speedometer, uh, steam chest gauge, tells you how much steam you're putting into the cylinders. Boiler pressure gauge. We're about 280 pounds right now in air pressure gauges. Uh, you got a water glass on either side, tells you how much water is in the boiler. Up here you've got what's called a low water alarm. If the water gets too low in the boiler, there's a whistle that goes off and letting you know you better get water in it. Uh, this is what's called the top of the crown sheet, the steel in there where it keeps the water and the fire separated. Over here you got the fireman's controls. This is handle here is called a feed water pump. That's the second way of putting water in the boiler. You usually only use this when you're going down the rail because it uses exhaust steam when the engine's working. Uh, this is a stoker blast. When I was telling you, steam jets push it out all over the firebox. And this actually runs that engine. Uh, that's what's called, this. you can reverse that stoker so you can back all that coal back out of there so it doesn't catch fire. That's what's called a blowdown. It's a, it's a two inch valve down there, you pull that and it blows all the sediment and crap out of the boiler. Mm. Stuff settle, wow. Uh, gauge is over here, boiler pressure gauge. This is a twin handed one so you can see the green valve moving. Water this we don't usually use at all. It's a automatic grate shaker. When you clean the fire, you can shake the grates. Yep. If you hit it too hard, you can dump the whole fire, so we don't even mess with it. The only time we'd really use that if we did have an emergency and we had to dump the fire, we mm -hmm. just hit that. Uh, you can see we got all the amenities at home. We got a footrest <laughs> for the fireman. We got air conditioning. <laughs> wow. Uh, Underneath here, those are what I was talking about when we cleaned the fire. Those are the yep. great shakers. We got a bar, and you can rock that whole fire bed. Yep. And then coal bunker back there. So if you want to sit in the seat and somebody get your picture, you're more than welcome to do that. So. If you got any questions, let me know. Where did it begin? Any issues running a stroud with Pardon? Any issues running a stroud with itself? No, 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 everything's been good so far. We scoped everything out, I mean, oh, yeah. we worked with them and we looked at it. If there was an issue, if we would have come up here, we could have come up here.